Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks of using Microsoft Power Automate. Number 21. Choosing the correct flow. If you navigate to my flows, there are different type of flows available. Number 1. Automated Cloud Flow. You can use this flow if you have a use case that requires to run a process automatically such as when a new email arrives or when a file is created. Number 2. Schedule Cloud Flow. You can use this flow if you have a use case that requires to run at a specific timing. Instant Cloud Flow, start automation with a click of a button, which means you'll be manually trigger the flow through the web portal. Number 22, add new, remove connection. If you navigate to data, under connections, You can add new connections with other application. Other than that, you are able to create a new connection with the applications via the cloud flow. So assuming if you have a cloud flow, you are adding a new action. When you are adding an action, if you select the specific application and once it is connected successfully, it will reflect inside this connection step. Number 23, using templates. If you navigate to templates, instead of creating a flow from scratch, there are different types of existing templates you can use depending on your process. In this case, if I'm looking forward at notify an email when a new file is uploaded to OneDrive, it indicates this flow will connect to OneDrive and notification. I am required to sign in and I click create. The next step, once I click continue, it will bring you forward to a cloud flow with the existing applications. Number 24, passing inputs to cloud flow. Over here, I have an existing test cloud flow. Under menu trigger flow, I create an input variable here. There's a lot of different type of input. For now, I use the text type. Please enter URL. If I test this flow, it will prompt me to enter URL. As you can see here, it's mandatory. You can also make the field as optional. Number 25, secure input or output. Under menu trigger flow, click on the three dots icon. Under settings, you're able to secure the inputs or the output. In this case, if this is enabled, this variable will only be applicable within this scope. Anywhere within the condition or after the steps, you are not able to assess. Number 26. Using expression actions. To check if the input is empty, you can do so by initialize a variable. And then, we declare a variable name and the type is boolean value you will then use the expressions over here i indicate if bracket i need to indicate the expression value if true and also value if false over here i would like to create empty bracket and i put dynamic content and enter URL over here 
and then I put comma to return true and to return false. Okay, if I click OK and I save this, I will get an error. And if I return this as empty, I will get an error because it says that the text doesn't exist. Okay, so to in order to handle this for optional type, anything that got to do with the optional type, you are required to add a question mark over here. Okay, so let's try again. Number 27, increase the speed of apply to each. So assuming if I have apply to each over here, and assuming I have a set of uh, loops to go through, right? Okay, let's just take this as an example. Over here, if you navigate to settings, there's a concurrency control. If you turn this on, you are able to run more than one records concurrently. But do take note, if you have any variables need to involve within this for apply to each, please do your testing first just in case if the data does not tally with the rest. Number 28, scope action. If you have multiple actions doing a set of tasks, you can use the scope action to group them together and act as one container. If you click add an action, you are not able to find any of these actions called scope. So what you can do is by searching them and then You can drag your actions inside here. And then you can also rename this to give a proper naming. Number 29 Exporting or importing flows via web portal. If you navigate to my flows here, if you select more command, there's an option for you to export. And you export it as package because in order for you to import this flow to another different account, it's requesting for a zip file. Number 30, Manage Gateways. If you navigate to Monitor under Machine, and go to Gateways, you are able to see which gateway they are currently using. You can have more than one gateways installed in this same user account. Over here, you are able to view how many flows run per day. So in this case, I did not run anything. So if you are keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.